course, at the end of 62, they really took off. And I didn't see or hear from them for years and years and years. So when I moved into the Henry on Thames area, I got this phone call and, and the voice said, Hello, is that Joe Brown? And I said, Yeah. And he said, This is lovely. He said, I don't know if you remember me. He said, Isn't that lovely? It's George, yeah, George Addison. And I hear you're a new neighbour. You better come over and we'll play some guitars. And, uh, and uh, that was it. I mean, I was over most weeks, you know, over there. He was a lovely man, Joe. And of course, both of us had a great interest in ukuleles. We both loved ukuleles. And George actually was a was a member of the George Fulby Appreciation Society and had them all over his house. You see, why is that? Because as a great musician, the owner of, of, of many guitars, one perceives, I could well be wrong here, everyone thinks the ukulele is a very easy instrument. It may be. Uh, but why would you and George hit on the ukulele? Well, I think I've always thought that the, the ukulele is a very underrated instrument. It's a wonderful musical instrument. The fact that it was so cheap to buy put it into the toy bracket. And people thought they were buying a toy guitar, which in actual fact they were because it's four strings and it's the same tuning as, as four strings on a guitar. But uh, you, you can, I mean, you can pick a ukulele up, anybody can pick a ukulele up. And if they can hum a song, they'll be able to play it in a couple of days. They'll be able to play that song on the ukulele. It's so easy to learn to play the ukulele. If you want to take it farther, of course, then you can get some of these Hawaiian blokes. I mean, they're like Django Rhino and Octave Up. You know, they're flying away with this thing. When everything is getting worst and troubles plague you daily, there's nothing like a short, sharp burst. Or you or you this is a cue for you because I'm not going until you give me a burst. Oh, me you can lately. Especially, I'll, I'll see you in my dreams, which I oh, think right. um, we'll, we'll talk about it when you get back from the wall. Okay. Well, I, I've got my own brand of ukulele, you know. I know. And this one of them there. This is an old Martin uke. But it's got a nice sound. I don't know if you pick it up, is it? Why does everybody sound like George Forby as soon as they do? George and I used to love all these old records, and George used to find them from anywhere. He loved, uh, he, he loved Ogie Carmichael. Oh, yeah. And he used to drive me mad. He'd, he, he, he'd phone you up and you pick the phone and you say, Who's that? And he'd go, It's only me from over the sea, Barnacle Bill the Sailor. He drove us all mad with that. But uh, he sent me an album, so I thought you might like this album. And it was uh, from the 1930s, I think, a bloke called Ukulele Ike. And he, his name was Ike Edwards. And he was the voice for Jiminy Cricket. And sang those great songs like yeah, When You Wish Upon a Star and Give a Little Whistle and all that. And See You in My Dreams was on this album. I knew the song because I grew up in a pub in the East End and they used to sing it there. But that was when I heard that song I thought, I love that song and I'm going to close my show with it. And I did. And it was a big success, well, not record wise, but when we come to do the concert for George, uh, Olivia asked me if I'd close the show with it. It's very, very emotional the way you do it as well. And uh, I mean, no disrespect, I said, if you're an X Factor now, first round they go, all right, out, out son. Yeah, all right. Bob Dylan, out. Bob yeah. Geldof, out. You, you, I mean, but the whole thing is we've had a variety of distinctive voices. And it's not how good your voice is, it's the emotion you put in. In the case of that, in the case of that particular song, it is exactly what I was talking about before, and that is applying the right feeling to the right song. But one thing about that song I will say is that nobody's ever, I've never heard anybody do the verse. The verse that sets the whole thing up, you know, it's, it just starts so. Soon my eyes will close, 
soon I'll find repose And in dreams you're always near to me I'll see you in my dreams Hold you in my dreams Someone It's kind of uh, goes like this. Tickle me once, tickle me twice, tickle me no pain, tickle me nice, but tickle my heart. It's on tour and closing the first half of it. Yeah, That's it sounds great with the band. Well, you're putting together, I mean, like the, uh, the variety show of old, what's going to work, what's going to balance, what you're going to end the show with, what you're going to start the second half with, all important. Well, absolutely. Well, you know, you when you compile your programs, how important it is. You, you, you know, sometimes you, you find two songs that really go together.